Hey guys, this is James Foster for Submission 101. Today I'm going to show you guys a variation of the traditional hook and roll mount escape where we trap our opponent's arm and leg on one side and roll them in the other direction. You know, a lot of times people are very good at defending that old escape, so we need to have a little advantage, a little detail to help us finish that on a more experienced person. So I'm going to show you a move I really like, a little detail that really helps uh, make that escape more effective now. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks. The problem with the old way of doing this move is because a lot of people know how to counter it, it's become a little less effective. So I'm going to show you a little easier way or a little more effective way of trapping this leg in order to be able to roll your partner. So here, partner's probably going to have their chest down. We're always wanting to keep the elbows in, protect our neck. Always keeping the arms hidden, right? We don't want to end up getting caught in an arm bar here. So from here, I have my feet up close to my butt. I always do that so I have a good bridge. Now from here, I want to trap his arm. A lot of times when people's arms are out really wide and they have their chest down, it's going to be hard to grab this without exposing your arms. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide my body to this side, like I'm trying to duck my head out under his armpit. And as I do that, I gain a little more angle to trap this arm. Now I go one palm up, one palm down, and bring my elbows down to my hips to trap this. So here, my elbows are in, I have his arm trapped. Now, I want to trap his leg, but if I trap it in the traditional way, a lot of times he can widen his knee out, go ahead and widen your knee, and still block this because his knee's open. I have his foot trapped, but if he keeps his knee wide, he's going to be able to recover his base. So what I'm going to do is reach with the side of my leg. So what I want to do is lift my hip and drive my knee up like I'm trying to bring my knee to my elbow and trap his leg here. So now I put all my weight on my leg. Be able to try to take your leg out. Very hard for him to do anything. Bring him right over. Good posture. Stay safe in his guard. Alright, so the first thing I need to do here is trap his arm. So if his arm's real close, that's going to be pretty easy. I'm going to go this arm, palm facing away. The other hand, palm down. As I do that, I'm going to stretch my body to this side to gain a little more reach here. Maybe I have short arms or my partner has his base spread out really wide. So from here, I'm going to slide myself over like I'm trying to pop my head through his armpit. Now as I do that, I'm going to gain this grip right around the bend of his arm. Palm to palm, elbows down like I'm trying to drive him to my hips. Now instead of hooking his leg the traditional way, which allows him to widen his knee out and still block, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach with my hip. So I want to drive this knee like I'm trying to bring it to my own elbow. As I do that, I extend my hips and I reach so that my leg, my whole side of my leg is on top of his leg and I want to make that leg really heavy here. Now from here I'm using my other leg to push to allow me to bridge, bring him over, gain my posture, and stay safe inside of his guard. Thank you, my